Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 830. Hey, in this trick here, we have a data set here, some field names, and we want to enter data in numbers in rows. But anytime we get a duplicate like this in the row, we want it to have a message that pops up and says, you can't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use data validation custom and use a true false logical formula. Now, I'm going to highlight this whole range very carefully, and the active cell is in the upper left-hand corner. Now, when we build this logical formula in the data validation dialog box, we have to build that logical formula from the point of view of that cell. Now, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt-DL. That opens up the data validation dialog box. I want to allow custom. And then the formula here, this formula has to be a logical formula that evaluates to true or false. And I'm going to use the count if. Now let's think about this. Here we have a row. If I were to count, and any time I got a duplicate, how many would I have right now for these fives? Two. So I could build some sort of count if that says has to be less than two. right? To, to enter, in order for data validation formula, it's got to say true. So if I say count if less than two, Anytime this count is less than 2, I'll get a true. As soon as I type the second 5, it'll give me false, and then we'll put an error alert. All right, so we're going to build this formula right here. Equals count if, open parentheses, and now I'm going to highlight the first row. And then I'm very carefully going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times. I've locked the column reference, but not the rows. What this means is this formula right here, is actually going to be sitting in memory in that cell. So when I copy it over and it analyzes each cell and says true or false, I need that range locked. But when this f formula in this cell goes down, I need it to move to the next row. And so that's why the, do the dollar signs are not in front of the row references. All right, comma, and then we simply say A2. That's a relative cell reference. The question will be of each cell, what is the count? And then I say less than 2. Right? Now I'm going to come over to error message. I'm going to say no dupes. Just to be easy, you could put something else. Whoops, I got cap locks on. No dupes. And then no dupes. You could put whatever you want here. Click OK. All right, now let's test notice that when you do data validation and there's already a duplicate, uh, it won't tell you anything. Actually, you could go to data. And I have this really squished up uh, down to data validation. You could actually say circle invalid data. Oh, and there it is. Now I'm going to go back up to data and clear validation circles and then just delete it. All right, now watch when I hit 5. There it is, my little dupe. It says no dupes, retry. And so now I can type um, 6, 19, 44. And then when I come back over here, 2, 2. And there it is. So it works for each row. Um, in addition, I can type a 5 here. That 5 up in that row does not affect this row. Um, one other way to look at this, I'm going to come over here. And if you're having a hard time visualizing the dialog box, we can build it here. Count if. And I'll do that same little thing over here. I'll highlight the row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'm going to go F4, all right, comma, and then A2, less than 2. That's the formula. It's in memory, right? But now we're going to pretend like it's actually sitting in the cells. And you'll see true, true. And I'm going to copy it over just that many and this down. And now let's go over, and I can't duplicate it now because it won't let me. But you can see that's kind of how it's doing it in memory. If I were to. I can't put one over there now because it's got data validation, but it would come up false. All right, uh, we'll see you next trip.